how to display charts from libraries that depend on matplotlib inside Streamlit. What do you mean object has no attribute save fig? Hello everyone, my name is Faniel. So we are talking of libraries like Seaboard, GeoPandas, NetworkX, Plot9, and probably a dozen more that I forgot. Now when reading the Matplotlib documentation, I realized there were two main objects that we need to get familiar with. There's the figure object and the axis object. Now, the figure object, you can take it as a big canvas on which you are going to draw multiple charts representing the data that you want to visualize. And then you've got the axis object that is going to plot a particular chart on specific data. Now, your figure canvas is going to contain one or more axis objects, each representing a different region of your figure object. For example, if you build subplots in matplotlib, you're going to get each region as an axis object on which to plot a particular graph. Let's check out how Streamlit displays matplotlib charts. Given the documentation, we see that Streamlit PyPlot takes a matplotlib figure as input. Now, under the hood, Streamlit is going to save this figure as an image and then transfer this image back to the browser to display it to the user. Now, the first idea that comes to mind Let's create the matplotlib figure and then call the seaborn chart that we want to render. Now the way seaborn works is to render on the current figure, which is the figure that you have created in the first place. Then when you render the figure, you're going to find the chart that you wanted to create. What Seaborn and the other matplotlib based libraries are going to do is create an axis object on this figure and then render the chart on the axis object. Which is why when you render the figure, you're going to see the chart that you called because Seaborn has created the axis object and then plotted the chart on it. You can do it even faster by letting Seaborn create the figure. Then to get back the current figure, we can use the JCF method from matplotlib to get the current figure that has been created by Seaborn. Personally, I'm not a big fan of state-based matplotlib. I like to actually see the figure and axis object stored in variables that I can manipulate. Good thing, Seaborn methods that actually render multiple plots on a single figure are going to send you this figure back. So you can store this in a variable and then render it in Streamlit. But if you're using Seaborn for single plots, what it's going to return to you instead is an axis object. Streamlit is going to tell you that the save fig method does not exist. And in that case, it's good to know that each axis object is linked to a single figure. So you've got a method that you can use on your axis object to get back the figure to display in Streamlit. Now my preferred way of doing, which is also called the object-oriented API, is by creating the figure and axis object beforehand and then passing them as arguments to the Seaborn methods that we are going to use. And then we can display the matplotlib figure, the scatterplot was correctly rendered on the axis object that was created alongside the figure. That way we can create more complicated apps. We can first create a figure object with two different axes on the left and right, and then render a specific chart per axe object. So when we display the figure, we are going to see our two different ways of visualizing the data which is awesome. Yeah, there was five ways of visualizing seaborn data inside Streamlit. And maybe I forgot some ways. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy Streamliting.